Thank you, Lord. Jesus began to put Moses in, in check. You have heard it said, but I say, Isaiah speaking in the prophecy says, before the dreadful day of the Lord. When Jesus came, he didn't make mention of dreadful day of the Lord. John the Baptist speaking said, he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and fire. When Jesus showed up, he didn't talk about fire. He talked about baptism. He didn't talk about fire because baptism and fire are two different events. They are not the same events. The baptism of the Holy Ghost is different from the fire. The fire speaks of judgment. In Malachi, it says, it shall sit like a refiner's fire and he will purge or judge the house of Levi. So fire speaks of judgment. You cannot have Holy Spirit bringing the grace of God at the same time with judgment. The two don't happen. He said this is the day of salvation this is the acceptable time there can be no judgment at the time of salvation the two of them don't work together are we together here yeah you can't be announcing today the day of salvation and at the same time be calling today the day of judgment the day of judgment is different from the day of salvation vengeance is reserved for the last day after the day of salvation is closed because a day will come when salvation will close then vengeance will be opened against those that receive not the gospel of jesus christ if i'm teaching say i hear you someone said let's pray judgmental prayers it still shows that you have not understood the gospel amen Isaiah 61 verse 1 the spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord had anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek he has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound verse 2 to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all that mourn Jesus has come to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord that was his mission Jubilee and then also to proclaim the day of vengeance of our God the day of vengeance the year of Jubilee the day of vengeance not the year of vengeance vengeance is a day Jubilee is a year Of course, you know, in English language, there's a difference between day and year. Abby? There's a difference. This is the day of the Lord. This is the year of the Lord. There are two different things. Now, Jesus shows up, the person whom the prophecy pertains to, and when he shows up, he now makes a distinction in this prophecy because the scriptures must be rightly divided in the light of Christ luke chapter 4 verse 17 and there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. and when he had opened the book he found the place where it was written the spirit of the lord is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor he hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind to set at liberty them that are bruised this agrees with what isaiah prophesied but look at the next verse to preach the acceptable year of the Lord next verse and he closed the book something is omitted what is omitted because that's not his assignment right now he immediately he proclaimed the acceptable year of the Lord he closed the book because vengeance is for a later date it's not for now this is the acceptable year of the Lord this is that day of salvation when salvation and the free favors of God abound to mankind profusely. Hallelujah. Are you understanding? But there's a day if men do not accept this year of Jubilee, when the year of Jubilee will be closed like the book has been closed, then another day will be opened. 
and that day is the day of vengeance and this vengeance will be against all those who reject jesus the, you know the apostles talked about it in thessalonians paul talked about that this is the day of god's salvation this is the day of the love of god god reaching out to men loving men and persuading men and lavishing his goodness on men even when they don't deserve it doing good for everybody giving people a reason to want to know him giving people a reason to want to come close to him as wicked as they are he is still good to them why because this is the day of his salvation and it is his goodness that leads men to repentance acts 1 5 for john truly baptized with water but you shall be baptized with the holy ghost not many days hence there's no fire there throughout the book of acts you will never see where he said holy ghost and fire so that means even when john was talking there is need to rightly divide what john was saying because don't forget the old testament and the gospels were written concerning jesus and they must be explained in the light of christ if you're understanding shout i hear you